report. This is Trey. And Carly. We have very great news this morning, so make sure you are quiet. We have fun news like staff showcase on this day and more. And we have a new segment this morning, which is green screen fun. It is where you make a video and ma makes magic things happen. So if you're ready for the horn or buzz, give me a drum roll, please. Hola, estudiantes de Davenport. Um, hi. Oh, yeah, if you didn't know, that means hi, students of Davenport in Spanish. Anyways, I'm Kylie. And I'm Cooper. Mrs. Brown and Henry did the Bean Boozled Challenge. And we're sorry that we made a mistake for the sound. Let's see how that went. Hi, we are here with... Henry. And you chose this because... I like nasty beans. Okay, let's get started. Mrs. Brown had a surprise. The first one they did with, was toothpaste or berry blue. They both are good. Henry got toothpaste, Mrs. Brown got berry blue. Mrs. Brown spins. And they get peach or barf. Or barf. <laughs> they both got barf. Oof. Henry went to go spit out his bean. Henry spins the wheel. Don't try this at home, kids. What did he get? And they got toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Ew, stink bug. That's got to be the worst flavor. Don't you think? No. The worst flavor is stinky socks. Mrs. Brown looks scared. Three, two, one. Henry got stink bug. Mrs. Mrs. Brown got toasted marshmallow. She got then they got strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. I hate fish. Especially dead ones. Eat. Mrs. Brown got dead fish. And so did Henry. Ooh, they went to go spit it out. Mrs. Brown ate a toothpaste or berry blue, and she got toothpaste, and Henry took two, and they were both toothpaste. Howdy, Davenport. This is Carly. And Trey. And on February 26, Davenport got to see the tractors at the high school because it was Bring Your Tractor to School Day. They went over to the high school in the morning. They looked at the tractors and sat on one, too. It was fun to see the tractors. Bye, Bye y'all! Guess who? Good morning. We are here with Mrs. Beck, whose job is a paraprofessional at Davenport Elementary. Thank you for joining us, Mrs. Beck. Thank you for having me. Where did you go to college? I went to college at ICC. 
tell us about your family. Okay, there are five of us in my family, me and my husband, Brandon, and then we have Brayden, who is 20, and he is um, studying aviation to become a pilot at SIU down in Carbondale. Then we have Brinley, who is 19, and she is at St. Ambrose University in Iowa studying to become a physician assistant. Then we have Brielle, who is 18, and she is over at Eureka High School. Do you have any pets? Yes, we have three dogs, as you know, since Morgan is our neighbor. We have Bristol, who's a Siberian Husky. We have Bailey, who's a Malshi. And we have Bo, who is a Cockapoo. If you had a superpower, what would it be? If I had a superpower, I think I would be invisible, so I could come and go as I wanted, and no one would see me. What place would you like to visit? Um, a place that we want to visit. We have a bunch of them since our son is going to be a pilot and he can fly us around. But our first one that we want to go to is Dubai. What interests do you pursue out of school? Okay. If I'm not out of school and it's summer out, you can find us in our pool. Or we also like to go boating or go on vacations. If you were an ice cream flavor, what would you be? I would be mint chocolate chip because it's refreshing. What punctuation mark would you be and why? I would be an exclamation point because I am so exciting. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Mrs. Beck's family and pets. Mrs. Beck's husband, Brandon. Mrs. Beck's kids, Brielle, Brinley, and Brayden. Mrs. Beck's dog, Bailey. Mrs. Beck's dog, Bo. Mrs. Beck's dog, Bristol. It's fourth grade's favorite pet. Dog. Cat. Bunny, guinea pig, hamster, or goldfish. Dog, 20, cat, 7, bunny, 1. Guinea pig one, hamster zero, goldfish zero. Dog, Dog wins! What is, what is Mrs. Mrs. Edwards' favorite art project? My favorite art project is A quilts, B drawing, or C architecture. My favorite art project is doing making the quilts with the children. Quilt wins. wins. Trivia Hey Davenport, it's me again, Addison. Family reading night is on March 12th. The reading room teachers and the students that go to reading room are participating. They get to do it to get family involved in reading. This year, the parents drive up to the school and the reading room teachers give the parent and child a book and activity. Have a great week, Davenport! And we're going to tell you about Miss Hitchens, and Miss Lawson, and Miss Ledbetter's quilt patches for Black History Month. They made them a few weeks ago. So they cut out two pat quilt patches, then took two colors and colored them. 
The quilt squares gave secret messages to the runaway slaves and a secret code. So the they did this so that the masters of the slave would not find them. Here's some more information from Tanner. Hello, my name April. is Kenzie, and we are here with Tanner. And, and they made quilt patches for Black info. History Month. Why did you make these? Um, for a social studies activity. Why did you make these? Um, so we could like um put them right here while where we're standing. How did you make? Wait, no. When did you make these? Um, about two, three weeks ago. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kenzie, and we are here with Ayla. And they made quilt patches for Black History Month. How did you make these? We made them with two different colors, and there was designs, so we just colored them in. Why did you make these? We made them for Black History Week. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Bella, and we are here with Kenzie. They made quilt patches for Black History Month and the Underground Railroad. How did you make these? We made them with paper, scissors, and we colored them in. Why did you make these? For Black History Month. How did you make these? With, um, we colored them in with cutting them, we cut them out and glued them onto paper. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Bella and we are here with Abram. They made quilt patches for Black History Month and the Underground Railroad. When did you make these? Two or three weeks ago. How did you make these? Um, we used a sheet with uh, God. the designs on it and we colored them. Why did you make these? We made, we made them for a Black History um, activity. Thank you. You're welcome. Yo, Davenport, it's me, your weather woman, Remy. Wasn't this week great? The weather has been continuing to get warmer. <laughs> Yay! It's going to be in the 50s this week and the 60s. I am so excited. Let's get to the weather now. On Monday, the high is 65 and the low is 46, partly cloudy. On Tuesday, the high is 66 and the low is 55, partly cloudy. On Wednesday, the high is 67 and the low is 47. We will have some showers and wind. On Thursday, the high is 54 and the low is 36, rain. Last of all, on Friday, the high is 52 and the low is 35, nightly showers. So, what goes up when rain comes down? I don't know, what? Umbrellas! Whoa! Whoa! Help! I'm gonna fall! Whoa! 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 Bye, Davenport! Monday, March 8th, school board meeting. Thursday, March 11th, Title I Family Night drive through Friday, March 12th, end of third quarter. Have a great week! Hello, my name is Hadley and it is National Peanut Cluster Day. National Peanut Cluster Day is observed on March 8th, which hopefully I didn't get my days mixed up because the 8th is today, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, my bad. Peanut clusters are made out of mostly peanuts and whatever you mix with them. I think these look so good. Hello, my name is Claire and it is also National Fun Facts about Names Day. Fun Facts about Names Day takes place during Celebrate Your Name Week. 
It is a time when people look up interesting facts about their names. A cool fact about my name is that it means bright and clear. What? That's so cool. Hey, it's Hadley again. And did you know that it is National Proofreading Day? Well, National Proofreading Day is observed on March 8th. And don't worry, Claire told me that is today. I did? Yeah, don't you remember? Yeah. Anyway, this means that if you write an essay or something, then you would reread it and make sure you have no mistakes. You know, I really need to try this sometimes. Okay. Voila! Hello, it's Claire again, and it is National Fill Our Stapler Day. Staplers have been keeping your paper together, but what if you to go to staple something and nothing happened? Grrr! You may think, but you may think, but you really just need to refill your stapler. Don't worry, no biggie. It's fine. Yeah. The, 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 and that's all, folks.